Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Christmas, December the 25th. Merry Christmas. Joyeux Noël à mes amis in Québec. Feliz Natal para mes amigos no Brasil. Et Feliz Navidad para mis amigos in Panama, Costa Rica et Puerto Rico. So today what I'd like to do is I want to talk about a very exciting new um, software and project. Uh, it's called Open Plotter. As you know, I'm very interested in open source software. For instance, I like working with uh, GNU Radio and Scilab and Psychos, and I like the RTL SDR. Anyways, here we have a Raspberry Pi 3B, and uh, what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to install Open Plotter. Now, Open Plotter is a software that basically turns your Raspberry Pi into a complete navigation system for a boat. So basically, you can have GPS, you can have AIS. You can have all your alarms and everything going in there, and you can turn it into a web server. And basically, you can just connect to your your um, Raspberry Pi uh, via wireless to your iPhone and check all the various settings. Uh, it's it's pretty tremendous what you can do. Uh, and there's also a hardware hat or a little board that sits on top here called the Moitessier, named after Bernard Moitessier, the famous sailor. And um, so that's something we can look at uh, as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install the operating system. So to do that, I'm going to take this out of its case. So I'll just take this out here. And I'm going to remove the SD card. Okay, so there's the, uh, there's the SD card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... It's sitting in an adapter here, which I can use uh, to put into my laptop and when I when I'm in my laptop what I can do is I can load the new operating system so let's go over to the laptop and do that there's my Christmas tree it's an eco-friendly Christmas tree I use it every year okay so I'm just going to plug this in here onto the SD slot on my computer this is a Windows 10 laptop I got this just by inspiration, just before the lockdown happened, which is the best thing I ever did. Okay, so I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to switch over to uh, Camtasia. So let me stop this. Okay, so now that we've uh, installed the SD card into the slot card reader, or the micro SD into the um, SD card reader, let's uh, look at what we need here. So the first thing we're going to need is um, we're going to go to Open Plotter. Uh, Open Plotter is a software um, that's available from Open Marine. So basically, Open Marine gives you Open Plotter. It's kind of like Open CPN. It's a free program. They also develop the Moitessier Hat, which is a device which sits on top of the Raspberry Pi, which contains all the sensor you, you could ever want, like a GPS and AIS, etc. But just the software alone, you can download. So basically, you go down here to download, and that's what I've done here. So that page takes you here. And you get a zip file with an image file inside. So what you have to do is you have to format the SD card or the micro SD and then put the image file on there. So to do that, go to Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi OS under installation, and you get the Raspberry Pi uh, imager, which is probably the best way to, uh, to do this. So <clears throat> I've already downloaded it. So let's go. Uh, and find it and we'll use that to image the disk so let's see raspberry pi so there's the imager i got to install it first so we'll install the imager okay so the imager is installed so choose the os that's the first thing we do so uh, what we're going to do here is use custom and then we'll go to the folder uh, where it's located okay so there it is it's unzipped so let's go back to um, this image here starting and there we go there's the image uh, file so you open that Okay, the next thing we choose the SD card. And there it is. It's mounted on drive E. It's a 16 gig. Um, I think the biggest you can get for, an, uh, for a micro SD card is 32 gigs. I've got a 16 gigs. So we'll choose that one. And then we'll write it. And it says that it's going to wipe everything out. Would you say yes? Okay, so now we just wait 
um, while this thing does its job it takes a while and then once we have that written we'll put it back in the Raspberry Pi and then I'll go over to my setup here I've got the Raspberry Pi um, set up to um, on the HDMI cable to my TV so we can see what it looks like okay so now the uh, card has been written to so let's just take it out here it says continue and just to be sure I'm going to locate it and looks like it's already been ejected so I can pull that out all right so I'm just pulling out the SD card and we're going to go to the um, Raspberry Pi and put it in there there we go so I'm going to pull this out of the um, oops. Okay, so there's the micro SD. I'm going to put that in there. All right, so it looks like it's firmly in there. And put the Raspberry Pi back in its case. Here. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to my little Raspberry Pi setup. This chair here is used specifically for testing software-defined radios, so the two radios that I designed uh, work with the Raspberry Pi, uh, so I bring them over here and I stick them on top of the Raspberry Pi to test. So let's, this is my Raspberry Pi 2, let's disconnect that, it's got a uh, old Meccano Faraday shield on it, take that off, okay, that's connected. Okay, so that's the HDMI cable connected there. And the only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch the TV over. So let's switch the TV over to HDMI. Okay, so the TV is on HDMI. So now let's power up. I'm gonna connect the power here. So there's the power light. And let's see what we see here. Let's watch our display. It's booting up here. So it looks like a pretty standard Raspbian Pi installation. So it says Raspbian Pi. Okay. Okay, so it seemed to install everything. Let's uh, let's just check open CPN. There we go. There's open CPN. So that's pretty amazing. So again, the whole idea behind this is the Raspberry Pi is a very very um, it's a powerful, well-documented, since so many students use it, it's very small, takes a little, very little power compared to other systems. And basically the idea is with OpenPlotter is to use the Raspberry Pi and run all your navigation systems on top of it. Either plug them in externally or there's a hat that goes with it, which we'll talk about in a later video, called the Moitessier hat. And that has all sorts of sensors and AIS and GPS built onto it. Anyways, in this video, all I wanted to talk about was just the, the installation. So it looks like 